Hello everyone. This is a sum of online math. Let us solve this exponential equation, okay? If you are new here, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel at a sum of online math so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. So we have 5 to the power of x plus 2 plus 5 to the power of x plus 1. Everything is equal to 150 and our target is to find the value of x. Remember that this 5 to the power of x plus 2 can be written as 5 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of 2 from the laws of indices, right? So, um, plus, coming here, you can call it 5 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of 1 because add multiplication means you are adding the powers. You are adding the powers, right? Everything is equal to 150. Now, 5 power x is common and 5 is also common, right? So we can do factorization here. Let us factor out. Bring out 5 to the power of x. Also bring out 5 because 5 is here, 5 is here. So bring out 5 or 5 power 1 as the case may be. Now, this divide it is. 5 power x, we cancel 5 power x. 5 power 2 divided by 5 power 1 is 5 power 1. Such that 1 plus 1 gives you back your 2. Plus, when you divide this by itself exactly, definitely it will give us 1. Everything is equal to what? 150. So we have 5 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of 1 multiplied by 5 power 1 is simply 5. And 5 plus 1 is 6. Everything is equal to what? 150. Then, these two terms are having the same basis so you can simply add the powers so you can call it 5 to the power of x plus 1 multiplied by 6 is equal to what 150 to get rid of this 6 let us divide both sides by 6 so you can have over 6 over 6 6 we cancel out 6 leaving us with 5 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 150 divided by 6 is uh, 25. So we can have that 5 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 25 is 5 to the power of 2. Basis are the same thing. Automatically, the powers should be the same. Therefore, you are not wrong if you write that x plus 1 is equal to 2. Now, solving this, you can now see that x is the same as 2 take away 1. And 2 take away 1 is 1. So the value of x that satisfies this equation is equal to 1. If you've enjoyed what you've watched, kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you for viewing and may God bless you. Bye.